important point about bugging out that uh, I want to mention is this. If you have to bug out in uh, any emergency, bugging out in the sense that you have to leave your current uh, place of living to a safer place. Why aren't you living in that bugged location right now? So find a place that you would bug out to, which is not in the middle of nowhere, and live there. Find a safe enough area that uh, you could survive. It would increase your survivability. And bug out to that place right now and live there. I think the most important thing, the most important tool that uh, you can have to improve your survivability is controlling your fears. If you can do that one thing, then you, you're all set. The way I look at it is uh, I've already bugged out to my location. And this is it. And uh, if uh, an emergency does arise, I'm already at my bug out location. And hopefully I've made the right choice. And in the long, in the long run, that will serve me well. spot on my coffee and talk about bugging out versus staying put. I do have a bug out bag but uh, I hope to God that uh, you don't ever have to actually use it out of necessity. I think that it's a fun thing to have and uh, I'll go through my own bug out bag and see what, uh, what I've got in it. It's a good thing to have if you want to go camping or you just want to go for a day trip and you want to just grab your bag and uh, know that you have the necessities in it. Other than that, uh, I just hope that uh, I won't ever have to rely on it to survive. Bugging out is uh, an interesting concept. What uh, necessitates bugging out? Collapse of society or a pandemic such as now? So that you need to get out of uh, uh, the crowd? In any case, uh, I don't think that bugging out is something.
So what do you do if you bug out on your all by yourself or uh, your family and something goes wrong? Something to think about. So as uh, I was discussing, bugging out is uh, is an interesting concept. It does sound okay in a very short term, very short term. But uh, if it gets beyond a few days, then uh, it loses its value very quickly. Unless you have something else, a much better plan in place. So when you do bug out and uh, you don't have all the support system in place, all it really takes is an emergency and you will be done. Let's say you break your hands or your legs or you have appendicitis. It loses its value right there and then and uh, you would be forced to either uh, choose dying or coming back to society. In most cases, I think uh, staying put is, uh, is a better choice since you have access to medical expertise and uh, any other support that you may need like food and water and uh, medications and so on and uh, another thing about uh, people talk about bugging out is uh, 
weapons and uh, maybe uh, ammo. What's the point of that? To protect your food, you say? I would never want to uh, take someone's life in order to protect a few cans of food. So a plan, a really good plan, uh, would entail something that would uh, increase your chances of survival and anyone else's chance of survival who comes your way and uh, that does not include pointing the barrel of your gun towards them so find a way to welcome everyone and uh, survive together that will increase your uh, your chances So in conclusion, what's the reason for bugging out? If you have to bug out in order to increase your chance of survival, then maybe you're not in the, in the right place. You would have to uh, think of changing your current living location. So uh, right now I think that I am already in my bug out location. So that uh, when uh, something an emergency happens something bad happens i'm already in my bug out spot I'm ready to uh, improve my chances maybe i can have a little garden already in place going and uh, i can start uh, tending it and also getting with my uh, neighbors and having a plan for improving my survivability and their survivability.